Hi there, my name is Will. I'm one of the buyers at Cotswold Outdoor and I'm here today at our head office here in Kemble. And today I'm gonna to run you through the mat equipment, Helium 3.8 self-inflating sleeping mat. So the, the Helium 3.8, 3.8 referring to the centimeters off the ground, so it's 3.8 centimeters off the ground, is a self-inflating backpacking sleeping mat great for sort of first time users or those who are looking to start making the step and upgrading their kit. So when you first get it out of the bag, when you first buy it, it will have been compressed since it was in the factory. So it will take some time for it to self inflate because the way that it self inflates is by having foam inside. You can sort of see it here. The foam inside expands out and that's what draws in the air. So when you first get it out of the bag for the first time, you might need to give it a couple breaths of encouragement just to get it going. Or you can leave it, but it will just take some time. Um, but in terms of storage for long-term storage, they do prefer to be kept inflated. Um, that means the next time round when you want to take it out on the hill, you roll it up and that first time out, it will it will be really quick in terms of self-inflating because it's not being compressed. I don't have this specific one, but I have got a self-inflating mat and I have had many of them in the past. And um, I would usually find myself storing them either under my bed or I've also, I've got a gear closet um, where I can have them upright in there as well. So they're kept inflated upright in my gear closet. Um, but um, there's really handy bits of kit. And the whole idea is that you're giving yourself as much distance as you can from the ground um, and it prevents the ground from drawing out heat from your from your body keeping you nice and warm and then obviously it also gives you a nice soft cushion surface to lie on as well so it's a little bit more comfortable if you're on harder ground something that's a little bit less forgiving than nice soft grass um, hopefully gives you a more comfortable night's sleep you've got um, a nice sort of flopped material on the base um, this actually helps massively um, for to stop the mat from sliding around um, the downside to all of these light synthetic fabrics is that they're quite shiny and they're quite um, slippery so having a flocked um, fabric like that means is that it's less likely to slide about when you're inside your tent when you're moving around the self-inflating nozzle itself is really easy to use to close it you simply push the stopper down and then twist it to lock it, now that's locked, and then to release it, it's just one quarter turn, you pull it out, and then that's now inflating. Usually you can get a threaded one, or you can get ones where they have a lock on them, um, but this again is a really nice, easy, simple solution um, that um, is pretty reliable as well, um, isn't really gonna go wrong on you. When it's inflated, it makes it a little bit more obvious to see what they've done on the, um, on the foam on the inside. Uh, for the areas where you don't need a huge amount of warmth, so your sort of extremities like your legs, they've punched out holes and you can see the, the holes are then reflected as these dimples. And the holes are there to shed weight um, and um, means that you've got a, a, lighter, a lighter mat. However, they've kept it whole towards the torso where you do need that additional warmth. Um, and you also do need that additional support as well to keep you off the ground. Um, so you can see here, it goes from dimples to smooth, smooth ridges where you've got solid foam and then again down to dimples again where they've been punched out to, get, to shed weight um, and also be a little bit more forgiving as well. So this would be a step up from um, your really basic roll away foam mats. Foam mats are great because they're light However, they're not that packable. You're really just rolling them away. Um, and um, they're also not the most comfortable, in my personal opinion. Uh, the foam has very little give to it. Um, personally, I don't find it that pleasant to sleep on. Um, so this would be the next step up from that. The uh, Helium is a really good sort of value for money option. Um, it's um, still got still using technical fabrics uh, where needed. It um, gives you a decent amount of um, space and air space between you and the ground. Um, doesn't add too much weight either. Usually if you go for the more entry level options, they can be heavier. They can be made out of less durable fabrics as well. So this is a nice step up from, from that as well. The next step up from this would be the air mats. 
So the air mats, um, they can't self-inflate. Um, they rely on you having uh, an inflating bag, so usually a big dry bag style sort of bag where you blow in air and you force air in and it inflates it. You save weight, um, they pack smaller. Um, however, um, it hasn't got the convenience that these offer. What's quite nice is that when you get to camp, you can unpack your stuff, obviously pitch your tent, and then um, afterwards, rather than sort of spending about five minutes getting lightheaded inflating your mat, you can just undo the nozzle on the top here, um, on the top there, and just leave it to self-inflate whilst you go away and prep food or gather water or start boiling water if you want to get a brew on the go or if you want to start sanitizing your water. Um, you can do that as well whilst this will self-inflate, so it's kind of doing its own job. Uh, which is nice and handy um, and super convenient as well. They can be a bit tricky to, um, to pack away as well um, because it, it will always want to self-inflate and when you're pushing the air out, it's always going to want to suck in more air, um, but there's a trick to it. So to roll it away, just undo the cap, make sure it's open. And effectively you do it in two rolls. The first roll is to push the air out um, or the majority of the air out. And then the final roll is to um, do a tidy roll. So what I tend to do, rather than folding it in half, which we'll do in the end, I just do a very rough and ready roll first. You can hear the air leaving. And you're not gonna get all of the air out, so you'll get the last of the little bits of air when you do the second roll. And when you get to that point there, I'll seal it off. So that now that's locked, so that's not gonna want to self-inflate when I undo it again. And the neater, I've always found, the, if you try to do like a quick job of it um, and you don't pack it away neatly, you end up with a, a much bulkier, um, thing to then put back into your bag so it doesn't ever quite go back in right so the more time you spend kind of making sure it's nice and neat and tidy take out all of the creases um, the more likely it is to um, pack away as small as it can and again so I'll, I'll uh, split it lengthways and then start rolling it and you'll find usually because of the the tapered shape it will want to crease up or unfold and every so often you'll just have to kind of just push that back down take the opportunity to give it a wipe clean as well and then also you can see that there'll still be a little bit of air like there so at this point I'll just do one last open up of the valve push that last bit of air out. And the most important thing is remembering to when it's rolled up, close off that valve so that it's not gonna want to self inflate when it's rolled away in your stuff sack. And luckily it comes with a pretty generous stuff sack as well. So, goes in nice and neat. that flock fabric sticking to it. There you have it. So the helium self-inflating sleeping mats are exclusively available at Cotswold Outdoor. If you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe and I'll hopefully see you again soon.